Hi, this is Milani Douglas. Thank you for coming to another episode of Fresh Take, where we have an opportunity to talk with women artists and the work that they're doing. Um, today, we are talking to Sade, and she is one of our artists for Reclamation and um, is an amazing performance artist. Sade, we are seeing your work through Reclamation in a very non-traditional sense. So I want people to get an idea of what you do and, um, and, your, and some ideas about your practice. Sure. Um, so my practice is vast. Um, it's multidisciplinary. Um, it's heavily research based. Um, I also have a curatorial practice, although I only curate like, you know, once every three years or something. But um, yeah, I, I kind of use all mediums um, with the exception of painting, but I do sculpture, performance, printmaking, textile art, um, installation, video, um, usually all of those things end up living in like the videos that I create where it's like, I'll make the installation with the textile piece and the sculpture that I perform with. And then it, and, you know, it lives in a video. Um, yeah. And you know, my work is, tends to be very focused on migration, black womanhood, um, Definitely, obviously, like, you know, my background as uh, a mother, a doula, Ethiopian, you know, Ethiopian parents who migrated here, um, being a Black American woman, all that comes up in my work. Um, but my work is, and then, you know, there's the intersectional feminism that comes through and, yeah. I love how there's this, um, you are, there's a very strong presence of the divine feminine and also of beauty in your work. Uh, the the pure aesthetics are um, stunning. Mm. And um, so I wanted to know if you could, is what is your relationship or um, how do you use beauty as a, a power tool? Mm. Um, mm. You know, because that's how I see it um, when I look at your work is that you're almost using the way that someone would, it, it has so much power in the way that you use beauty. So mm. we'd love to see you speak about dealing with some very um, tough issues and necessary issues for us to approach and bringing such beauty um, to the presentation of the discussion. Of them. Mm -hmm. That's a great question. No one's ever asked me that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I think, well, basic, I do like pretty things. So even when I design work, um, whatever, whatever kind of object I'm creating, I am my aesthetic tends to be like very feminine and, and I, yeah, I want it to be beautiful. I think there is something accessible about that. Um, although that's not why I'm doing it, but um, it ends up being accessible. And I think also growing up like in a black culture, you know, I don't know, not to compare it to like Western culture, but Western culture can be very, I mean, look at DC, people love black, gray, just gray, <laughs> you know? And, um, but when you go to neighborhoods that are majority black and brown or go, or look at those cultures, it's very colorful. Yeah. There's so many textiles and designs and patterns. Um, it's so ornate and I've grown up around that. And I, I've, I think it's gorgeous. Like the more the more patterns, the better. <laughs> you know, like the mm -hmm. more colors, the better. Um, I mean, yeah. Go. I mean, I mean, go to a black neighborhood here. Go to the Caribbean. Go to Africa. Everybody has hella colors and different textiles on them. Um, and then there's to me that's like an extension of adorning yourself. So I love adornment. That's something that I've I've always um, incorporated in my performances whether it's me adorning the audience or adorning myself. Um, but I think that that also is, again, like me reaching back to things that I've seen and I've grown up around. Um, and then it just kind of reflects in my work. Um, yeah, and it, you know, with the light sculptures, I was thinking, I was like, I want it to be, I want it to feel like a sanctuary. I want it to feel, I want people drawn to it. Like these patterns are being, reflected onto you like when because the light creates the shadow I think these patterns are so gorgeous like um and I feel very privi privileged to have grown up around them like every day of my life um and 
to see these women embodied in them. You know, I, I do feel very much like their spirits are a part of these sculptures. Um, and, you know, it's a way to kind of, to commemorate them, to honor them.